Now let's look at the wastewater system in a building. There are two kinds of wastewater that a building system collects and in most houses these kinds of wastewater just completely run into the same pipe. Um, but in a in green building and lead certified building you might you might separate these so I'm just pointing them out. Um, gray water is wastewater that's not contaminated by bacteria. So it comes from bathroom sinks, bathtubs, washing machines, and so forth. Black water can have bacteria in it, and so it comes from toilets and kitchen sinks which might have food in them. The wastewater system contains pipes and it contains uh, vents in vertical pipes. Well, the plumbing system that handles the waste in a building is more complex than the water supply side of the house. Water supply comes in through pressure. Waste flows out through gravity and so all that flow has to be carefully managed and we have to make sure we provide vents so that we maintain atmospheric air pressure so that we don't get siphoning and uh, we have to make sure we don't have any cross contamination caused by siphoning so this thing has to be laid out carefully thinking about the idea of a uh, trunk of a tree and branches of a tree just like we did in water supply. In the waste system there are branch drains that come off the fixtures and feed into the vertical pipes and they drain into these vertical pipes. These pipes are called stacks. A stack is a vertical pipe. Then the stacks feed into the main drain under the house and notice that it, throughout this system the horizontal pipes have to have a uniform slope. This wastewater, uh, you don't want it flowing too fast, that would be bad, and you don't want it moving too slowly, that would be bad. So you have to have this uniform slope throughout the system. And then outside of the house, the house um, drain, house waste line, connects to the building sewer and that goes out to the main sewer line um, run by the utility, unless you're in a rural area and you have a septic system. And there will be a utility connection at the edge of the building. Because wastewater flows through gravity alone, the pipes in a wastewater system are bigger than the pipes in a water supply system. And as we mentioned, we have to be very careful that the slope, um, that the pipes slope uniformly and continuously from start to finish so that the wastewater keeps flowing and doesn't back up. And that's why um, you will notice that sewage treatment plants are typically in low-lying land. All right, so we have a waste pipe that carries wastewater, maybe from a sink or something like that. And then a soil pipe is also a waste pipe, but soil ref refers to human waste, like waste from a toilet, uh, technically called a water closet. As we mentioned, a stack is a vertical pipe and it can be a vertical pipe for venting uh, to maintain air pressure and it can be a vertical pipe to carry the waste, uh, wastewater and soil. In a house, you'll notice that this waste system next to a fixture is shaped kind of like a flag. So there's a um, almost horizontal but not quite vent pipe at the top. There's an almost horizontal but not quite, it's sloping, waste pipe at the bottom 
there is a vertical pipe and the flagpole is the stack and it might be um, it might be the vent that connects to the vent pipe and it might be the waste stack or the soil stack that connects to the waste pipe and these vents uh, serve an important purpose they keep the air pressure uniform throughout the system and they keep the waste draining at atmospheric pressure and if that doesn't happen you can get a siphoning uh, which is dangerous to health so several slides that show pictures of the idea of the venting um, and the venting helps maintain this seal in what's called a trap. And a trap um, is, a, is a plug made of liquid um, that's held in there by gravity. And its purpose is to prevent sewer gases from coming back out. And sewer gases smell bad. They're also unhealthy because they contain certain kinds of anaerobic bacteria. So we have a trap in here to block those sewer gases. And here's what one looks like. The water, let's say we're looking at a sink, the water runs down the sink drain down into this um, P-shaped trap, fills up the trap, uh, because of gravity, the water doesn't just run all the way out. It sits in the bottom here until the next load of water comes through. And this water blocks the pipe so that gases cannot come back up through the sink. This thing, this trap is shaped like a, like a U, but it's actually called a P trap because um, the horizontal leg is like the leg of the P and this loopy thing is like the the bump on the P. That's the only shape that's legal. We're we're not allowed to have what is literally a U trap, this thing at the bottom, and we're not allowed to have an S trap. We're only allowed to have a P-shaped trap. And so uh, once again it um, forms a seal caused by gravity so that the gases cannot get through. Toilets, and by the way, toilets are call, called uh, water closets. So toilets have their own pee trap built in. And uh, toilets don't use pumps or anything like that. They use um, uh, water pressure and siphons, uh, water pressure and vacuums. And down in the bottom of the toilet, there's this pea-shaped trap that fills up with water due to gravity and it keeps gases from escaping into the room. In a house, if you have a one-story house, you can use the soil stack, the vertical stack that carries the waste, you can use that also as the vent. But in a, a more than a one-story building, you're required to have a separate vent. health regulations, um, that is from building codes, um, are strict about preventing cross-contamination. So we pay very close attention to water pressure and to make sure that we don't get any siphoning, any uh, partial vacuum that could draw wastewater back up through the system. So we have P-traps and the the water the water in the waste system has to be lower than any inlet to any water supply fixture in commercial buildings we have uh, fancier stuff like vacuum breakers and you've probably seen those they have a they look like i should have put a picture in here but this isn't commercial so i guess it's okay um, a vacuum breaker has like an upside down u shape it's a, a U-shape sticking up in the air. And then uh, our houses are required to have clean-outs. 
every so far, every so many feet apart, and every time there is a bend greater than 45 degrees. And a clean out is a cap that you can unscrew and uh, clean out any gunk that's clogging. So there's your wastewater system.